Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and helping us feed a hungry hippo. Today I am unboxing a Thread Up Denim Rescue box. If you're not familiar with these boxes, you can get them on Thread Up. They are 30 pounds and 50 pounds. They are advertised as DIY denim boxes, so you never know what you're going to get. I've heard horror stories of folks who got boxes full of just cut off legs from jeans. But I've always been very pleased with the boxes I get. I usually get a ton of bread and butter items and sometimes I get really, really good brands. If you have never seen me unbox a thread up box before, what I do is I pull out each pair and I categorize it to whether it's poop, bread and butter, or what I call money money or bolo brands. And then um, at the end, we'll count up how many viable pairs I have that I can actually list for sale and figure out how much I paid per pair based on the $59.99 price tag. So it was $50 for the box and then $9.99 to ship it. So $59.99 all in for 50 pounds of denim. And we're going to get in there and see what's what. Uh, before we start pulling them out, two things I need to point out. Number one, when I buy wholesale or I buy lots or boxes of things, I do try to list everything out of it, even if it's quote unquote poop. So even if there's brands in here that I personally would never source off the rack or at a thrift store, I will still list them because I like to squeeze every bit of profit I can out of lots that I buy. So I will still list the poop brands, but I'll tell you which brands are good to look for and which aren't as we go through. And the second thing is, um, this is not the original box that these were shipped in. I have two boxes of jeans here. Um, we do wash everything that we purchase for sale, whether it's thrifted, whether it's wholesale lots, whether it's thread up, no matter where it comes from, we do wash everything. I say we very loosely. Keith washes everything. So when my thread up boxes arrive, he takes them right around the house to the basement where our laundry room is. And he opens them up and washes and dries all the jeans and then reboxes them and brings them up here for me. So I haven't seen what's in here. He has. I doubt he paid much attention. Um, but I haven't seen it. Except for these. New with tags items, we do steam to sanitize them. Um, I use a steamer that touts that it kills, you know, mites, bed bugs. Heat, steam, we all know kills germs. So you should be steaming your items with tags and all your plushies and anything that you don't want to put through the washing machine. You should be washing everything. I did a whole video on that. I'll actually have that pop up at the end. You can watch it and you can hear all the disgusting reasons why you should be washing everything you thrift. But without further ado, this is Laura Conrad. So this is a poop brand. I'm going to put my eyes on so I can actually see tags. Um, this, these, this is a pink brand, but because it's new with tags, I'm going to call it bread and butter. I mean, when I'm at the store and things are 99 cents, if they're good with, if they're new with tags, not good with tags, if they're new with tags and they're only 99 cents, I'll often buy brands I normally wouldn't. Um, especially I like having tags, tags on my items going into Q4. People are more likely to buy new items for gifts, right? These are super skinny size four. Okay, let's try to pull these out without knocking everything on the floor. I like to do that. This is Can Can. You know, I've had these before, but I can't remember if they were good or not. So I put them over there. That's another thing I do if you're not familiar with these videos. Any brand that's new to me or that I can't remember if it's good or not, I put aside and at the end I'll share my screen and we'll comp them together. I have some tried and time and true. You know, if I edited my videos, I'd be editing a lot today already. Four minutes in. Time and true. That's a Walmart brand. And it's maternity. So we're gonna we're gonna call them poop. Um, I do thrift Walmart plus size jeans. Let's just put that right out there, full transparency. Um, if they're 99 cents and they're plus size, I do source Walmart because they'll sell for like 20 or 25 bucks. Plus size sells fast, but 
Not the smaller maternity poops. Poops. J. Crew shorts. These are definitely bread and butter. Um, J. Crew is a good brand to sell on Poshmark. I don't think it does that well on Walmart, but I don't turn my nose up at it. And jean shorts are always good. All right. Next up, I have a sugar lips. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It says sugar lips. This is like a cute. Oh my goodness. This is cute, man. If only I was skinny, I could wear stuff like this, right? Um, I'm going to comp it though. But it's like a button front little denim dress. That is adorable. I have a pair of Old Navy. This is not a pair of Old Navy shorts. This is a skirt. Let me do that again. I have an Old Navy denim skirt. It's white. That's bread and butter. All right. More shorts. I love it when I get shorts. This is a poop brand, though. <laughs> this is Wild Fable. But I'm going to call them bread and butter. And I've talked about that on this channel before. You can have a poop brand of denim shorts that will sell for more money and um, faster than jeans. So poop brands of jeans can still be good brands when it comes to denim shorts and denim jackets. And plus size and new tags. There's exceptions to every rule, right? Ashley Mason. going to have to comp that. Would you just look at that? We've got some pants here. Got some pants. These look like Levi's. These are 519s. They're men's. I'm going to look up my price guide. Um, my price guide on jeans is just something I've built over the years to quickly look at stuff that I don't have memorized to see where I start stuff at. It does come with my jeans guide, which is half off right now. No code needed, $12.49, you can get the jeans guide. I don't have men's 519 on here, but uh, I want to comp them then. Because some of the Levi's men's, you can start at 40 and 50 bucks, and some are only worth 20, 25. So, Ooh, this is a solid bread and butter brand. I love Cabby. I love cabbie and these are cool because they're printed and I've always done really well with this brand period but whenever I get the jeans that are printed like this they sell pretty fast we have this is kind of a poop brand universal thread it is a poop brand but these are shorts so we're gonna call them bread and butter I just listed a pair of short alls, which are overalls that are shorts, for this brand for like 20 bucks. So, yeah, you never know. Um, Old Navy. Someone at the Thread Up Warehouse must watch my videos and hear how much I love shorts. Because I keep getting shorts in my boxes, like just tons of them, which is fine with me. Buttonfly. Yeah, it's going to be winter here in Pittsburgh, and it's going to be cold soon. But it stays warm in California. It stays warm in Florida. It stays warm in Texas. Um, on the other side of the, the world, in Australia, when it's winter here, it'll be summer, and we do sell internationally. So I'm not discriminatory about seasonal things or anything like that. I list all the things all the time. Universal thread. Shorts. Um... I even like sell like Christmas plush and the middle of summer Easter plush all year round. So time and true. These are size 14. So technically like on Poshmark, these would be considered plus size. Um, so I'm going to call them bread and butter because this is an example of a Walmart brand I would pick up for 99 cents that I could list for like 20 bucks or 10 plus 10 shipping. Abercrombie and Fitch bread and butter. Laugh at me all you want, but I love Abercrombie and I love Hollister jeans. They sell quickly. They only sell for like $18 to $20, maybe $22. If they're button fly or something special. 
they sell fast. Very quick return on my investment. I do like those brands as far as being bread and butter. Old Navy, bread and butter. We've got Style and Company poop. So I'm going to lift these probably for like 18, maybe 20 bucks because they came in my box, but I would never source these. I don't even care if they were a quarter. I would probably leave this brand behind, to be honest. We've got some jeans. Topshop. That used to be... We're going to comp these because Topshop used to be kind of like middling in between bread and butter and Bolo. Um, I feel like at one time it was a really good brand. And then it just kind of got oversaturated and you know what I'm going to say, right? People race to the bottom and run for everybody. Ooh, look at these old navies. These old navy camo jeans. These are cute. These are cute. They are bread and butter. Stuff is falling out. These are shorts. Gap. Gap is solid bread and butter all day long. These are not shorts. This is another skirt. I should look at things before I talk, right? Bread and butter. We've got another skirt. Well, that's how I looked before I talked. We've got H&M Divided. I'm going to call it bread and butter because it's a skirt. But I would avoid this brand, really. I mean, the full-length jeans don't do that well. But denim skirt might, so it's not total poop. This is a new-to-me brand. Three times one, so we'll look that up. Got a whole pile to look up here today. I like that because that means I'm learning new things. It means I'm finding new-to-me brands and learning what's good and what's not. American Eagle, bread and butter. You never stop learning, no matter how long you've been doing this job. Um, Ann Taylor Loft, it's kind of a poop brand. I'm going to put it under poop because I, I avoid it at all costs. And American Eagle, super, super stretch. So that's a solid bread and butter. Okay, I got to pull this other box over here, so I'll be right back. All right, we have Banana Republic, high rise, straight fit. These are women's and they're green. I'm going to call them poop. Sometimes I do okay with men's Banana Republic, but it's still kind of a poopy brand, right? We same lab. We're going to have to look that up. Got quite a big pile of that today. We've got shorts by Arizona Jean Co. Um, that is a poop brand. It's from Daisy Benny's. Um, but because these are shorts, we'll call them bread and butter. These are shorts, but they don't have a brand. These are just like, oh, they're Shein. <laughs> I'm going to call them poop for sure. I'm going to call them poop because they're Shein shorts. But the last couple of Shein, and I'm saying it correctly this time, I think. The last couple of Shein items that we did get um, sold pretty quick for like 18 bucks. They were shorts. So, I mean, they may not be necessarily too much of a poop. They're kind of cute. They got different colors on them and stuff. So I'll list them for like 18 probably. All right, we have H&M poop. This box has a lot of poop. And also has a lot of bread and butter. So Gap, denim shorts, they're black. Bread and butter. More maternity clothes. I avoid maternity like the plague usually. Indigo blue, that's a poop brand. Ooh, more cabbie jeans. And these are cute. Look. 
They got little patches on them and stuff. These are cute. And they're cabby. So I'm going to call these bread and butter. We've got another brand I've never heard of. Junie. We've got Gap. I love Gap. Do you guys know what my three favorite bread and butter brands are? My trifecta, as I call them. Old Navy, Gap, and American Evil. This is Dream Out Loud. I've never heard of this brand, but these are cute. These are short alls. Um, I just built two listings in this perfectly yesterday of short alls. I don't know if Keith pushed them out on our platforms yet. But one was a Levi two horse brand that went up for like 50 bucks, 40 plus 10 shipping. And then the other one was that universal thread that went up for like 20. Short alls are super cool. Um, even the poopy brands will do well. Eddie Bauer boyfriend shorts. I mean, these are shorts, but I'm going to call them poop. I'll probably still list them for like 18 bucks, 16, 18 bucks. But Eddie Bauer is poop anymore. Gap jeans. Shorts. Lots of shorts. I'll take it. Shorts sell well. Shorts sell for good money. Shorts sell fast, typically. They're easier to photograph. You take less measurements. These are Old Navy, size 14. Cut off shorts. Bread and butter all day long. These are Alter It State. We're going to look those up. I want everything to come across your nose. These are Gap. So we're going to call those bread and butter, of course. Zara. So I don't really like the source Zara anymore, but it is bread and butter. I mean, it's okay. It used to be a really great brand, but you know what happens. These are, ooh, Torrid. That's a solid bread and butter brand. They make plus size women's clothing. J Brand. That is a money, money. Just to give you an idea, um, I do start these. I'm going to double check myself before I open my mouth. Because I wanted to say that I start them at 30. But 35 is what I have on my pricing guide. So J Brand is good. Yay for a good brand. I see a poop brand. I see poop. I see poop. Bill Blass. Poop of poop of poop. How many times can Star say poop? Poop, 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 poop. But I'll still list them for like, um, Probably 18 20 bucks. Ooh, we got a money, money, money brand. I'm going to check my list because I wanted to say 40 on these. And I have 35 to 40 on my list. So, Madewell. That's a good brand. You want to look for Madewell and J Brand. That's exciting. This is Apartment 9, Poop Brand, Denim Shorts. I'm going to call them Bread and Butter, though, because they're a good size. They're size 12. All right, this is some shorts. These are also Shein, so I'll call them. Did I call the other ones Poop? I probably did. We'll call these poop as well. Although I think they're more, I mean, the brand itself is poop and people know it's poop, but they still sell. Pack Sun. 
I want to call it Boo. I mean, this used to be a brand you could get at the mall. I remember this being big when I was a kid. Um, but these are kind of cute. We're going to look them up. Specifically, like, the dual colors. All right, these are Old Navy, not their Gap. I know how to read, I promise. Gap shorts. Bread and butter. We've got brand I'm going to have to look up. It's just FS. We've got American Eagle Outfitters. Really cute. Denim shorts that are cut off and stressed. Another pair of Madewell. Would you look at that? And then I have Universal Thread Shorts. I'm going to call these poop. No, I'm not. I'm going to call them bread and butter. That's what I call the last ones. All right. I'm going to pull all of the stuff we're going to comp over here. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's start comping all of these jeans here and seeing what we're going to categorize them as. Let's start over. Action. All right, you can see I'm sharing my screen now. We're going to go ahead and comp this pile of jeans. These are all new to me brands or brands that I just haven't seen in so long that I want to double check them before I categorize them as poop or bread and butter or even money, money. These are, um, I know I've just had this recently from another box. So I'm going to go ahead and look them up in my Looks Perfectly catalog. These are the can cans. I just want to see what I personally have been listing them at. $25. So that's bread and butter. So those are bread and butter. These are the Ashley Mason jeans. That is a new to me brand. So let's go over to eBay and look up Ashley Mason women's jeans. We've got them listed for $35 and up. Let's see what they're actually selling for. This might be a good brand well those sold for 24 25 those sold for over 30 those have tags i'm gonna call them bread and butter but if you want to call me out on that and say i should have called them money jeans <laughs> go ahead and leave a comment um because i did see some live ones listed for 35 and up but Looking through the solds, I'm probably going to list them more like 25, maybe even 30, like 20 plus 10 shipping. Um, sugar lips, cute denim dress. So let's do sugar lips, women's denim dress. And sold. You've got, they accepted a best offer, so there's no telling. No telling, but there's only one sold out of... Only eight listed, so I guess it's either not an easily found. That's my exact dress right there. That's my exact dress that I have right here with the two pockets and the top and the two pockets on the bottom. So that's 43 bucks. I'm going to call this money because there's not that many listed, which usually means it's rare or so crappy no one ever buys it, but um, you know, when there's very few or none listed as something that you have, you can set the price pretty high. These are the men's 519s. I just wanted to double check these because I don't have the 519 on my price guide, which probably means I don't find these often. Levi's 519 men's jeans. All right. They're listed for 27 36 plus 20 shipping, but that's coming from the UK. We've got almost 30 bucks here, 40. Let's look at the solds. A lot of them are coming from the UK. And if people are willing to pay 50 bucks all in with shipping, I mean, these may be bread and butter, these may be money, I meant to say. I'm gonna call these money. Okay, so next we have the three by one New York City jeans. Never heard of these. So 
put it in three by one men's jeans. And we're in the sold. So you got two pairs that sold for 30, one pair that sold for 26. You got a $17 pair, a $30 pair. What is going on here? This person's probably just a turd. If this is you and you're watching this, you're a turd. I hate people who race to the bottom. I really do. Look, a best offer was accepted. We don't know what. But these started their life at 58. 30. Let's see what's actually listed. Um, new. No, they're really expensive. Y'all, are you like yelling at the screen as you're watching this? Because this is probably a really great brand that I've just never found in the wild or had before. And you're like, star. Yeah, this looks like a money brand. I have never heard of this brand. I've never found it before. I've never seen it in the wild. I've never gotten in the wholesale lot or box. Money. Money. We same lab. We same lab. Um, I guess I should have cut women's jeans, right? <laughs> oh, wow. That's We the Free. This isn't even the, the brand. I don't even see this brand. I don't see it. I'm just not seeing it. Maybe we should check Poshmark. Or maybe it's just real poop. Let's check Poshmark real quick and then we can do a Google search and then, then I give up. I'm not going to spend all day when I'm not even listening yet. Why am I checking down there? No, not even here. These might require a little bit more research. They're probably food. That's why I can't find them. I mean, here's some stuff for it. If you know anything about this brand, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'm just going to categorize them as bread and butter since that's in the middle. It's not poop. It's not money. But if you know anything about it, let me know. That's going to be something I'm going to have to really look into probably um, when I'm not on a video. Pop shop, women's jeans. I remember having some bean shorts of this brand. That did well. Oh, the prices are kind of poop now. And then some are good. About $40 plus 13 shipping here. That sold. So, I mean, y'all need to stop racing to the bottom. You just need to quit. Just need to quit. Look at these prices. They are all over the place. Pre-owned. I'm going to call them bread and butter. So I'm probably going to get like $25.30 at the most. All right, pack sign. I just want to double check this because I haven't had this brand of jeans in a long time, like since I first started. I'm like find them at the bins and stuff. One dollar. <laughs> um, these look bread and buttery. Let's check the sold real quick. Bread and buttery. Yeah, we'll just call them bread and butters. All right, we just got a few left here, folks. We got these short alls by Dream Out Loud, Selena Gomez. You guys ever watch Only Murders in the Building? I love that show. I like her in it a lot. Uh, Dream Out Loud, short alls. Nothing. Let's see if there's any actually listed. There's a pair for $20. So I'll call them bread and butter. Altered State. Some of these brands you guys have probably heard of and you're yelling at the screen, right? These look like bread and butter. Let's just check the sold. It's important to check both. 
I mean, you want to see the solds to know what brands or certain items are actually selling for, what people are actually willing to pay for them. But you also need to look at current listings because prices can fluctuate. They can go down if people are being charged and racing to the bottom, and they can go up as well. So it's always important to um, look at both, I think. I like to price, these are bread and butter. I like to price on the high end, so I have room for sales and offers, and so that I'm not participating in that race to the bottom. If you price stuff high, you can run sales and sell it for as cheap as you want, and you're not racing to the bottom. This is Junie. Junie, women's jeans. And there's nothing in the solds. And here's some listed. These are bread and butter. They probably have a really bad selfie rate, but I just will call them bread and butter anyway. And the last pair we're going to look up is just FS. These are cute, though. They have, like, studs all over them. FS. And I'm not even seeing this brand. Do you guys know how to look up RN numbers? I've talked about that on this channel before. And I can't find one on here. This might be um, UK jeans or UK brand. Because it does say size 40 on the waist, but they are small. There's not a 40. And I'm not seeing an RN number, which is a U.S. thing. Oh, let's check out the solds. No. You want to look at um, Poshmark real quick? If anybody knows anything about this brand... You can let me know in the comments, just like that other one I couldn't find. Um, I'm not seeing it, so we'll just call we'll just call it bread and butter. We'll just call it in the middle somewhere, right? Let me find my thing and come back. Hi. So I've got ten pairs of poop, and just to be clear, I will list the poop. Okay, I will list them all. For anywhere from like $18 to $25, um, depending on what they are, I will get every cent of profit I can out of this box. The only things I don't list out of boxes like this or lots is if it clearly cannot be listed, if it's not viable for resale, if the crotch is completely blown out and ripped, if the zipper is broken, if they're stained or just really gross beyond belief. If they're not viable for resale, clearly I can't sell them. But even if I categorize them as a poop brand, I'm going to list them. I'm going to ask for 18 to 20 whatever bucks, see what happens, run a sale, take an offer. But I want to get as much profit as I can. 5, 30, 35. I have 38 bread and butters and six monies. That's a good box. Six monies is good. But all together, then, I have, to get a calculator, <laughs> I have um, 16 plus 38. I ended up with 54 items. I can sell every piece that I pulled out of this box, even the poop. But there was nothing in here that I can't relist or that was just damaged or couldn't be resold. So I've got 54 items that I can resell. I paid $59 for the box. It comes out to a dollar eleven a piece. So I paid one dollar and eleven cents per item for fifty-four items, right? Six of those are money brands. So typically on money brands, you're gonna profit right around 20 bucks, give or take. That's 120 bucks just off of those that I'll profit. Um minus the 60 I paid. So if I sell the money brand, I've already profited $60. And then I have another 48 pairs of bread and butter and poop that's just icing on the cake and that's just extra profit. Uh, we typically pay 99 cents for most of our items here when we go out thrifting. Uh, but the money brands, I usually pay up for between $3.50 and $7. So to pay $1.11 per item, 
to have them delivered directly to my door. I didn't have to go out, use my gas, use my time, go through the racks. I had 54 items delivered directly to my door. Boom, boom, boom. I'll pay the extra 12 cents, right, per item. So I'm actually really pleased with this box. I'm very excited about it. Um, this was a really good box, even with the 10 poops. Poops, you're going to profit maybe 5 to $10 on a piece. So we'll even say low end is 5 That's 50 bucks. That almost pays for the box. The group almost pays for the box. So this was a very good box. Very happy. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything you saw in this video, let me know down below. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. It's a really positive atmosphere there by design. It's got a lot of really great resellers from the community there who are always willing to help you out if you have questions. Guys, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.